Yo, 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 what's up, people? This is your boy P. Ross back in the building with another video. As you can see, the headliner on the web page that I'm looking at is uh, madamnoree.com. I put the link in the description at the bottom so you can read this yourself. Uh, this actually broke like last week or the week before about uh, Prince suing bloggers and uh, people for bootlegging his music. All right. Um, $22 million lawsuit against Facebook and blogger users. This is incredible. Like, I mean, you know, and I know there's a lot of people out there who love Prince and listen to bootlegs and do this and that. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all, man. I know y'all upset. But, I mean, you may even think Prince is being a little anal. But, you know, put yourself in his shoes, you know. You know, if you went to work and then somebody else was uh, doing your job, getting paid for what you do, and then you don't get your money for what you do. You know what I mean? Or better yet, how about, you know what I'm saying, somebody do your job for free. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, you know, you ain't even need it. And they do a job, the job better than you, whatever. You know, so, I mean, I could dig it. I could dig his frustration. I understand it. Um, But... I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of look at it as because I listen to bootlegs, you know. I refuse to pay for them, you know. So, I mean, like, I remember, like, back in the day, like, when we would go to record stores and they would, like, just rape us for bootlegs. Like, a full CD set, hundred and something dollars. One that comes to mind is uh, Exploding All Over Europe, if y'all ever heard of that bootleg. A hundred some dollars, and we was glad to pay that just to say we had something new by Prince, you know. And and they raped us back in the day, but I dig Prince's stance on this. You know what I'm saying? He's not getting paid from it, you know. Uh, so why should anyone else? You know. So I mean, I get it, but let's move on with this lawsuit. Um, they actually got this from Spin.com. Uh, Prince is suing 22 members of Facebook and Google's blogger uh, for copyright violation and wants them each to pay $1 million. All right, according to the 21 page complaint filed in U.S. court in San Francisco, the defendants engaged in massive infringement and bootlegging of Prince's materials. The lawsuits targets whoever these people are and a a particular bootleg, I guess, from 1983, Chicago, from World of Bootleg blogspot dot blogspot dot com. Now, I totally agree with this part. Prince asked for a jury trial, which though is highly unlikely, but Prince knows he's not going to get a million dollars each for these people. He's just trying to make examples of like, don't mess with my shit. You know what I'm saying? This is what can happen. I mean, like, in all honesty, it's a serious case, and people could go to jail for stuff like this. Um, for those websites that got the warnings in the beginning, and they still continue to do it, um, especially if you were doing it for free, and you were saying, like, don't buy bootlegs, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? The music is free. You know what I'm saying? I get that too. I see both sides of the spectrum. You know what I'm saying? If, if you have to get a bootleg, why should you have to pay for it? You should be able to get it free. I get that too. You know what I'm saying? Um, But for those websites who got the warning, you know what I'm saying? Just like with the old housequake.com back in the day, you know? You know what I'm saying? You should have calmed down and just waited, you know, for a while, you know? Just, just to see what was happening and where it was going, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel sorry for these guys, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people benefited from some of these groups and blogs and stuff, but I understand Prince's side of it too. I understand being a fan too, because you know what I'm saying? Like, you have people all around the world who don't do nothing but follow acts like Prince, you know, and, and record shows and, stuff like that that Prince does. But Prince is not like the only artist. 
there there are tons of artists that has that loyal following that follow them around the world. They record these shows and do things of this nature. So, I mean, Prince is not the only one. I've never heard of anyone being as hostile as Prince doing it, but you know, I know there are other artists that has that same following as Prince, if, if not more than Prince. But I will say this too, you know, I understand that being a fan and I understand it from his side. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that that no one can understand it as much as a fan can, though, and why fans would be upset. But fans need to understand his side, too. So that's all I say about that, you know. So um, get into it. Let me know what y'all think about this $22 million lawsuit against Facebook bloggers and users and stuff like that. It's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know, shit getting real. All right, peace.